Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a fun, fresh spring look for you. And I'm going to be using mostly purples with a little bit of brown. And for this look, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild palette called Flirting at the After Party. And this is what it looks like. And you can find this at any drugstore. I actually purchased mine at Rite Aid with a few other things. And I did a haul on that. If you guys want to see the video, I'm going to put it in the description bar. And as always, all of the products that I used in this video are going to be there as well. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is apply some sort of base to your lid to allow the colors to pop more. And I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk and I'm applying it using a synthetic brush. I wish I would have had a larger brush but I didn't. If you want to skip the brush altogether and just use your fingers, go right ahead. I eventually do go in with my fingers to blend it out. Here I'm blending out the base as I previously said and I'm making sure to remove as much of it or blend as much of it as possible while maintaining that wash of white. Next I'm going to use the bronzer that I always use and I'm going to apply this with a fluffy brush to my crease. The first color that we're going to be using is that purplish pink color there and using any flat small brush I'm going to apply this to my entire lid avoiding my crease area. Next I'm taking this purple right here and I'm applying it to the outer corner of my eye and bringing it into the crease using a small pencil brush. This is a single eyeshadow from Maybelline in the color Nutmeg and I'm going to apply this to the outer corner of my eye and then bring it into my crease for more definition and I'm going to be doing this with any sort of small but fluffy brush. And then I'm going to blend, blend, and blend until I feel that all of the harsh lines have been softened. Next I'm going to apply that first eyeshadow, the pinkish purple one, to my lower lash line. And of course, after all of that blending, we lost some of our base shadow, so I'm going to reapply the first purple. I'm going to use this pinkish color for my inner corners to open up the eyes and apply this pale purple color to my brow bone. I'm taking the same brown that we just used and applying it to my lower outer lashes. I'm going to line my upper waterline with this black pencil. Here I'm taking an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and I'm creating a very thin line and a somewhat wing. Don't forget to check out the description bar for the exact names of all of the products that I use in this video. Next, take any white liner that you have and apply this to your waterline. This is from Wet n Wild. Lastly, I'm going to be taking two types of mascaras and the first one is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and the second one is the Maybelline Rocket. This is by far my favorite, favorite setting powder. I use it just about everywhere, especially under my eyes when I've applied my concealer. And this is the Ben 9 Banana Powder. As you can tell, I've already applied my foundation and concealer and I've done this off camera because it takes me quite a while to get my under eye area the way I like it. If you want to see a video on how I conceal my under eye circles and my hollow eyes, then let me know in the comments down below. And I'm just going to be applying this powder wherever I feel that I get most oily throughout the day and that's always around my nose, on my forehead, my chin, and under my eyes. The eyes are done and now we're going to focus on the face and I'm doing a slight contour more bronzy with the sunny bronzer that I used for my crease earlier in this video. I apply this product usually in the hollows of my cheeks, around my temples, on the sides of my nose, under my lip and my jawline, and anywhere else that I feel like applying it. And there you have it, the face is done, now let's move on to our lips. 
but which color do I use? I picked a few wet, this is one of my favorite blushes and it's from Wet n Wild and it's called Pearlescent Pink. Okay, so I've applied way too much blush. It probably doesn't pick up like that on the camera, but in person it looks very bad. And to fix this, I'm just gonna wipe off the excess powder I have on my brush on a clean napkin and then buff out the blush as much as I can. This is another one of my favorite products and it's super inexpensive and it's the e.l.f. all over stick. I'm not sure of the name right now but it has a pink undertone and I use this to highlight certain parts of my face. If you're big on fragrances and scents, this product actually smells to me like cotton candy. So that's just a little side note. Face done, now let's move on to our lips. So here I am thinking which lip color would go best with this type of look and I still wasn't too sure so I picked two Wet n Wild lipsticks and I decided to mix them together and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I feel like my lips need a little more of something so I'm going to apply this yellow base lip gloss on top just to give it a little bit of shine. Okay, so here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Don't forget to check out the description bar for more information. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!